just getting set up here at the 95 farm. We're gonna get this miscanthus in the ground, but the first step is um, creating our seed bed. So we got this uh, chisel plow on a three point hooked up to this case. And we're gonna take this down to three to four inches. That's the perfect depth for planting these rhizomes. So I'm gonna spread these rows out, 24 inches, three rows. So I'm gonna hop in the tractor to get some chiseling done this morning. We'll start dropping these rhizomes down in this trench, cover them up with dirt, call it a day. Right? Yeah. It's easy, Shay. Easy stuff. <laughs> All right, so I'm not sure how many are in each of these bags, but these are the rhizomes, what this stuff we're planting looks like. So something small just like that, that's it, right there. Lay them down flat. Spread them about 12 to 18 inches apart from each other. I've been told the tighter you can go, the better your wall is gonna be, it's more lush. So, just gonna start popping these in the ground every 16 inches or so and cover them back up with soil. That chisel plow saves so much time. This would have taken forever to dig this many holes. So, I'm gonna start putting these in the ground. The rain's knocking on our door, it's coming, it's already sprinkling on us. We've got one row finished up. You know, I mentioned earlier, um, we're doing three rows. You can do up to five um, for screening off with Gigantus miscanthus. You want those rows 24 to 18 inches apart. When you're putting your rhizomes in the row, you want those spread out 12 to 18 inches apart, or sorry, 12 to 16. And the reason that is, is this stuff just kind of starts to grow together and creates a supporting wall. I mean. These are rhizomes that we're planting, they're not seedlings. So after we get done planting these today, after this rain comes through, I'm gonna get a, a pre-emerge on. Harness Extra is what these guys recommend for a pre-emergent. Then 45 days after that, we'll come come back and hit it with a post just so these, these rhizomes don't have to fight um, weed pressure and just competition as much for these nutrients. So one tip I would give if you guys are doing or wanna do uh, miscanthus planting, Having something to um, clean out your row, like this chisel plow, this would save you so much time and so much back pain. But if you guys can find a buddy or a farmer that can get their hands on one of these bad boys, I wanna say we picked it up for like 150 bucks. It's older, but it works. Um, as long as you got a tractor and a three point, you're good to go. So we're gonna wrap things up. Rain's coming, as you can see, it's starting to sprinkle on us. So that's a good thing. Corn's popping, beans are popping. Life's good. We'll see you guys on the next one.